this has happened. Hey everyone, welcome to Headbangers Kitchen live on YouTube. Finally, I tried live streaming uh, yesterday in the morning at the same time. And for some reason, my YouTube app just refused to function. And I got so frustrated. I went on to Instagram and did a live stream. Then I tried to live stream on YouTube again. And I got so frustrated. It didn't work that I went to Facebook and did a live stream. And well, today, here I am now and the live stream is working. So welcome everybody. Uh, I thought I'll do a vlog about, you know, the like two days after my carnivore diet, I thought I'd do a vlog and that didn't kind of pan out the way I wanted it to. There was nothing much to really report during the day except the normal things that I was doing. But here I am. I thought I'd just give you a brief overview. Uh, I finished up the carnivore challenge on uh, Saturday night and I think I weighed in on Sunday morning at about 67 point, sorry, 64.7 kilograms. Uh, so I lost almost 2 kilos and the Sunday night, the night that I weighed myself in the morning, I ate a pizza. Yep. And uh, during the day I had 2 slices of bread with some pate and butter and I had an omelette with some salad. And the next morning, that was the Monday morning, I had actually lost 200 grams. Amazing. I was 64.5 kilograms uh, after eating a pizza. But of course, on Monday, I went full carb. You know, never go full carb. That's what they say. Never go full carb. And I went full carb. And what happened was, uh, obviously, I weighed myself this morning. I'm up quite a bit. I was up a whole kilo actually on Monday. Or was it Tuesday? I'm confused. What day are we on right now? We're on Wednesday. Yes. So Tuesday I was up a whole kilo and Wednesday I'm up now to about 66 kilos. So pretty much everything I worked for on the carnivore diet uh, did not quite come out well the way it should have. So it's been an interesting uh, sort of aftermath to the carnivore thing. But again, like I said, I've gone full carbs, you know, never go full carbs, never go full carbs. But yeah, I mean, I, I think from the new year onwards, I'll be like keto, in full keto, you know, give it like 100%. Is anybody watching even? For some reason, this YouTube, uh, YouTube is behaving so badly these days. Anyway, I'm pretty sure if you're not watching it live right now, you're going to watch it. Oh no, don't tell me I'm on the wrong channel again. Dude, 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 which channel am I on? Oh no, 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 no wonder. Oh, did I do it again? No. This is the Headbangers Kitchen channel, right? Please tell me this is the Headbangers Kitchen channel. Amazing. I have a feeling this is not the Headbangers Kitchen channel. How do I keep doing this? Are there still people watching? Oh boy. It is? Oh, okay. Whew. Because <laughs> this one time, I did a live stream and it was not on the Headbangers Kitchen channel. This is really weird. Why? Why is the? Why is the everything so strange? Really, is everyone gone on holiday? Well, that's embarrassing. Huh. Anyway, doesn't matter. So yeah, that was the uh, aftermath. This live stream was just not meant to happen, you know. I think. I think it's something wrong. <laughs> this live stream was not meant to happen. Okay, I'm going to try and figure out what's going on with this thing. Why is YouTube behaving this way? Why am I not seeing my own live stream available? It's not showing up at all. Anyway. That's really bizarre. Ah, interesting. Okay. Um... Hey, so finally, whoa, is there that much of a lag? Hello to Joanna. All right. Anyway, I already shared the aftermath of my keto uh, carnivore diet being closed down. I lost some weight on the carnivore challenge and then I gained it back by eating carbs. Okay, this is... Hmm. Interesting. The live stream is not showing up. Oh, it is showing up. Maybe it's not. Interesting. Go on watch page. 
Hey, stay true. Okay, people are showing up. Maybe it's just people are not on the internet right now because it's the holidays. Okay, so I am live on the Headbangers Kitchen channel. That's a good so thing. And you can hear me in the background. I need to mute myself. All right. Cool. So there are some people online now. That's really, really strange. Okay, more people coming in. Woo! Anyway, so yeah. Um, ah, now the numbers are going up. That took a really long time. Hey, Christopher, thank you very much. Glad you could join us. What time is it in America? Maybe that's why no one's online right now. Current USA time. Let me Google it. Yeah, it's 10 p.m. in the night. Ah, okay. How are you feeling, mate? Carb aftermath. Ah, well, uh, honestly, after the carbs, I feel fine. You know, uh, I mentioned this previously as well. Like, I know a lot of people, when they go off keto on carbs, they feel really sick and horrible. That doesn't really happen to me. I feel fairly um, alive. I feel alive, actually. Quite filled with energy, in fact. Um, I will feel like taking a nap in the afternoon, probably. <laughs> but apart from that, I'm, I'm good, man. Um, and yeah, I mean, I haven't like put on any visible weight. Just water weight, I guess. This is interesting. Uh, hey, hello to Jenny Lee. Hello to Joanna. Hello to Akshay Punj. Hello to everybody who's tuning in. Good to see you all here. Um, yeah, interesting. So how was your Christmas? Thanks. Oh wait, not Thanksgiving. Silly me. How was your Christmas or whatever it is that you all celebrate? Um... Is anybody still doing the carnivore challenge? Are any of you going to be joining uh, Dr. Sean Baker in January on the carnivore month? I'm actually considering doing three days of carnivore again just to kick myself back into keto quickly because that definitely seemed to work really well. That was like a keto on steroids. Uh, hello to CO Laser. What's up? Anywho, what else is up in Keto Land? What is happening in Keto Land? Um, so yeah, I'm. What's up with Headbangers Kitchen? Uh, well, I am updating the website slowly but surely. As we speak every day, I'm inputting a few of the pending hundred odd recipes that are there. So I hope by the end of January, headbangskitchen.com will have every single recipe listed out and you guys will have easy access to the written recipes. And also what most people have issues or complaints about is having the uh, imperial measurements in cups and tablespoons as opposed to grams. I don't know why people haven't shifted to grams yet. It's just so much more accurate to have a little scale and to weigh everything else. Alicia Mali, do you really think eating meat is good for us? It's absolutely. Uh, it's not necessary for us. But it is good and it works for some people and it doesn't work for some people. Uh, you know, the thing is, everybody is different. But uh, as far as eating meat goes, we get, we get nutrition from it. We can digest it and it works. Like after doing that carnivore thing for 10 days, yeah, we definitely can eat meat. You know, people have a lot of uh, very silly arguments against not eating meat and uh, it doesn't really make any sense, you know. Things like, oh, your teeth are not like a tiger or something. But, you know, we cook meat. We don't eat meat raw. We evolved. We, we do different things. So, um, you know, again, for some people, too much meat doesn't go down well because they've uh, probably grown up eating vegetarian food so it's honestly a lot to do with this and then how that adapts to it you know lifestyle is everything if you grew up eating meat on a daily basis you probably have no problem eating meat if you grew up eating veg vegetarian food every day and suddenly try to eat red meat it might not go down well with you uh, but 
sure enough i mean there's there's no unfortunately there is no absolute truth i think anymore all right akshay yeah that I, I think that was what i my biggest takeaway from the carnivore diet was that it's a great way or zero carb in general actually is the best way to kind of uh, get back into ketosis hey liz yeah you know what i realized that uh, yeah it's, it's really early in the morning for everyone in europe and the uk and uh, yeah it's the, the us should be awake right now and all my indian friends should be awake but uh, yeah it's a nice beautiful morning here in mumbai city uh oh, look out the window sea is blue well black actually with junk in it but yeah uh, hello to gina good evening hope you're doing well hope everybody's doing well 940 in texas oh texas brisket yum yum franklin's barbecue i want texas brisket one of these days <laughs> for sure anywho uh, yeah hey lafon thank you so much exactly yep you need to find out what works for you everybody is different remember that we are all beautiful and unique snowflakes every one of us please do a keto chart recipe sure i will consider it um i I've, i've never been a big chart eater so i i guess that's the reason i've never gone a uh, look towards creating it hello to steve from las vegas ah i'm a beautiful and unique snowflake that i am i'm also a cuckoo clock so yeah that's interesting um So as of now I'm off keto and I have put on weight water weight of course uh, after the carnivore challenge and uh, I I do want to low carb it out but then you know now suddenly I've decided to throw in all the carbohydrates that I want to eat into this week so there's a big plan of going out quite a bit uh, so I'm thinking 1st January full blown back to keto with a vengeance and uh, you know onwards and upwards from there um uh, of course yeah i mean keep giving me your recipe requests i will try and do as many of them as i can uh next year is i i'm looking to do as many recipes as possible uh maybe do more of these live streams if it's something that people will be interested in though i really need to figure out what time of the day is best for it because uh, it's about 9 am in the morning here in mumbai city but 40% of my viewers are from the usa and uh, you know a whole bunch from europe and uk so it is no I, i'm sure there's no ideal time for me to do a live stream because it's like people in the uk and europe are sleeping right now uh, of course for indians this is fine you're probably on your way to work or you're in office right now and you're not doing the work that you should be doing but you should be doing all right so i guess this time is a good time for the americans so america gets i'll have to do i guess multiple live streams maybe i'll figure out maybe when 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 um, i can do one because yeah 1 pm in the afternoon here would be 1 am in the us it's not a good time at all the aeroplanes are back so probably mumbai is the only city in the world where the airport is like smack dab in the middle of the city i'm not kidding like normally when you want to go to an airport you've got to drive like an hour or an hour and a half away from whichever city you're taking it from mumbai and i'm not complaining about this at all i'll be i'm happy with those planes but it literally takes me 15 minutes to get to the airport like my house to the airport is an auto rickshaw ride away and i love that i just love that i don't have to travel like an hour away um you know uh for like for an for a flight so yeah love that thank you for all you do i really appreciate it riley rose hey riley my pleasure happy to do it tania yes yes we got to love mumbai airport i mean it used to be the case in most cities in india 
but pretty much every city shut down airports within the main city and moved it somewhere on the outskirts mumbai is still not managed to do that i don't know why it's it's a unique thing of the city but yeah all right head bangers kitchen live streaming it's been 15 minutes in i was so paranoid that this live stream was on my other channel cuz this one time i was supposed to do a live stream and i switched it on and it was like one person watching for like 15 minutes and i was just could not for the life of me figure out how with 100000 subscribers i had only one viewer and then I, it turns out i was on my music channel uh, the one not even the new music channel the one that i was going to disband um, yeah so it's uh, not disband sorry like discard anyway it was hilarious um okay so amanda says visiting india in march really need some metal venues if any uh, yeah there are a few venues and you might catch a few shows uh, send me an email i'll i'll definitely point you in the right direction uh my name what is personally i would be curious to see you do an all plant based diet for 10 days but no processed soy based products uh my name what is actually i have already done that you can uh, scroll through the channel you will find a vegetarian keto vlog you will even find a being vegan vlog where i was eating vegan food for 2 weeks and vlogging about it and you will also find my vegan keto recipes and and uh, vlog i think so i've done it all i've done meat only plant only vegan like what have i not done somebody tell me what i have not done So yeah definitely check out the channel guys if you haven't I like I said we have 150 ketogenic recipes on the channel I'm pretty sure you've not seen all Love you headbanger my last name is hen have you ever eaten hen Oh that's oh that's so naughty I have not eaten hen I've eaten chicken Hey Elena thank you so much for the kind words uh Water fast yes yeah, so a water fast is basically where you drink just water and your body fasts and apparently that's that's very healthy for you very uh, good thing to do you're supposed to do it for i think so the first 3 days of the water fast are uh, very uh what you may call it uh, very difficult and then your hunger will just vanish and then basically you break the fast when your hunger uh, is um, sort of past uh, when your hunger returns sorry i'm just thinking about eating hen right now sorry that's just <laughs> distracting me is goat a popular dish in india so in india we don't really get lamb as such which is sheep we get a uh, mutton which is goat and that is the regular meat over here so yeah mutton is the most popular thing here However I realized when I do mutton uh, dishes on the channel they don't get many views so I've realized I need to call them lamb dishes and it's pretty much similar um you know lamb chops mutton chops all that uh bracket bracket 58 ask me how much salt electrolytes do you supplement what supplements do you use I do not believe in supplements uh simply because I think if your diet does not give you your required stuff something's wrong with your diet. So I just salt my food regularly. What I have done is I've got low sodium salt which is high in potassium and I use a mixture of that sea salt, pink salt and also regular salt. So I think that sorts me out. Uh Mr. L Krishna, thank you so much for the kind words. Uh yeah, see for me I really um what you may call it i really like tasty food and i am constantly looking at finding the most tasty food on keto cuz that's what will keep me excited and constantly on on the ketogenic way of eating uh riley rose will you drop carbs completely when you go back into keto yes absolutely in fact i'm thinking carnivore for 5 days at least again uh that really worked to sort of get into ketosis cuz the egg fast is the other option and i'm not a big fan of that but carnivo was like totally on point uh, with getting into ketosis amanda we get goat dishes here not really more like beef just for marketing uh 
I don't know, maybe, yeah, I mean, I guess the goat varies across continents. Uh, if you are out of keto, it really depends on how many carbs you have consumed, how long you have been out of keto. Uh, things like those will determine how fast you will get back into keto. Uh, but if you're really looking to speed up the process, zero carb is the, is the most easy way to do it. You can do a 24 hour or a 48 hour fast. Um, but, you know, those are much harder for people to do. Like fasting for, for 24 hours is quite tough. You know, the hunger does kick in. Liz, yeah, I mean, that's the thing with keto. It, it kind of makes you cook because at least still keto becomes like a household uh, thing to, a uh, household way of eating. Yeah, it's going to definitely make people cook. Gabe, thank you so much and congratulations on your weight loss. That's pretty awesome. 65 pounds is quite a lot. Yes, 24 hours water fast yes that's what i mean just drink water and maybe black coffee hey steve really sorry to hear about your best friend uh, you know i mean really sad news and my condolences uh, yeah man get back to the diet do you know don't stress about it i think i think stress adds to a lot of problems i think if if we are all able to just relax a little bit more you know not stress we need to just chill. If we can all chill and just not stress about life, a lot of problems will be solved. Uh, Mr. 58 asks, anybody in your family still on keto? No, no one in my family is on keto. My wife will join me early next year on keto, uh, but nobody else is doing keto in the house. I anyway cook all my own meals, so I'm okay that way. I don't like calling it fasting. Just structure your eating window into a five hour window. Uh, well, whatever we call it is okay. I mean, as long as people find it easy to do and it makes things easy for them. Yeah. Emotional carb eating is what makes people overweight. I, I think just eating in general, uh, we don't realize the amount of calories uh, we have in food. Actually, I think that is the, the key thing. People don't realize the amount of calories in food and people don't realize the amount of calories they actually need. You know, a couple of people I know uh, over the years have put on weight. They work in an office. They're sitting all day. Uh, they will go to a hard rock cafe after work, which is fine. You know, they'll have one burger, one beer. That burger alone is a thousand calories. That beer is another 300 calories. They've had some breakfast, which was another 600 calories. Had lunch, which was another seven, 800 calories. They've eaten two and a half thousand calories when they probably only need like 16, 1700 given the fact that they're sitting down throughout the entire day. So that is my thought process on uh, why... No, no, 300, 300 is the number of calories in the beer, I think. But you get what I'm saying, right? I mean, uh, the number of calories people consume in a day... Uh, at, at, it, it, you don't need to eat that much food. And the thing is, and this is true, I, I know a lot of people say it's all about hormones, weight loss, blah, blah, blah. But people are constantly expanding their stomachs. I'll tell you this. Uh, I lost 12 kilos via calorie counting. And that meant portion control. I know a lot of fitness guys on YouTube say, oh, that's starving yourself and you are... You're really starving your, your body and you that's not healthy. That's bullshit. I mean, here's the thing. I would weigh out my lunch, okay? I would eat 50 grams, 100 grams of rice, 100 grams of uh, dal. I would eat 1300 calories or 1400 calories in a day. And what I realized is every single time that I overate, I felt sick. And then after that, two week process of calorie restriction, my appetite decreased, which means that if you are constant and, and when I left calorie counting and I started just eating without measuring, I realized that the first four days I would overeat, feel a bit stuffed. But then after four or five days, I needed more food to actually satiate me. And this is because our body tells us we're full 20 minutes after we finish eating. 
which is why portion control is so essential. You know, even on keto, people say, oh, just eat, 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 eat. There, there's a limit to how much you need to eat. Like, yes, calories don't matter, blah, blah, blah. But you eat like, a, like what you need to eat, not just stuff your face. So, and that's the thing. With carbs, you tend to also feel hungry more often. So, people just have eaten too much food. Yes, you can eat a lot and work out a lot and maintain your weight and all that. But basically, this is why I say, and my grandfather had the best advice. He said, after you finish your first plate of food, learn to do this. And you will lose weight. Yeah, so there, there is some wisdom there. A lot of times that second helping that you take, if you wait for 20 minutes, your stomach will tell you you're full. But yeah, and that and that's the thing with keto. I think, I think those fats and proteins just they satiate us a lot of faster. El Krishna, we cannot have any fruits during keto. Am I right in saying that? You are eighty percent right because uh, on keto you can have very minimal amounts of fruit. So you can have a few strawberries, a few blackberries, a few raspberries, very low carb fruits. But I would say if you're looking for weight loss, just avoid it. Maybe have two strawberries in a day. That's it. No more. Yeah. So, so that's my thing. I, I like to weigh out food. You know, uh, it makes sense to, and you can pre pre calculate how many calories you require. It's not that difficult. You know, if you're making say lemon pepper chicken, you know that the recipe makes four servings. You know that you need only one serving to hit your macros in that one meal so don't eat that second serving you know you may feel the hunger right in right after you finish the the first serving but just let let it be you know mind over matter mind over matter all right do you know what can help break a weight loss stall uh yes uh, riley a weight loss stall like i said the egg fast water fast zero carb or carnivore all of these are great weight stall breakers, in my opinion. All right, Tanya, awesome. I'm looking forward to that lemon pepper chicken. Then, What kind of pizza did you have? So I had a pepperoni pizza and then my wife packed a Italian sausage and a speck ham pizza for me, which was actually better than the pepperoni pizza. It was so good. So... Here's the interesting thing, okay, guys. Uh, this might be of some use to you. So my uh, planned cheat pizza was fabulous. But my next day where I was like, let me just eat anything. First meal was fabulous. Second meal, I overate and didn't feel good. I realized that. I actually prefer, rather than doing like a cheat week i think i prefer cheating on the diet because it you know they say when you do something wrong do it right like it it's psychologically more more satisfying to cheat on a diet than to sort of be off the diet i think like like if i'm on the keto diet and i ate a slice of pizza that one slice of pizza would be way more satisfying than me saying okay that next meal is a complete cheat meal I don't know about you guys, but psychologically, I feel that really impacts my, uh, how much I enjoy a cheat, cheat thing. So yeah, something to think about, you know, how much of your diet is actually just mental. Oh yes. So my wife says I had uh, scary amounts of energy on the carnivore diet, unlike on the egg fast and, uh, and on the other kind of things. Also, I want to heat my coffee in the microwave now, so I'm going to step out of this room just for a bit. My coffee gets cold really fast. Does anyone else take an hour to drink their morning coffee? I do. Welcome to my kitchen and my microwave.
Alright. Hot tea, yeah. I, I've never been much of a tea person. I mean, I was, I used to enjoy tea when I used to have it with milk and sugar, but uh, ever since I found coffee, no, 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 no. Coffee is my way to go. I got this lovely espresso machine, a gift from my wife. All the good things in my life are a gift from my wife. Say hi to my wife. Hi, Ditti. Uncle Chubb wants to know how old am I and at what age did you discover keto? I am 35 years old and I discovered keto two years ago. So when I was 33, I was quite fat during my youth. Now I'm a middle-aged fit man. Yes. Best wife ever. Uh, Riley, for the carnivore diet to break your weight loss stall, I would say go 10 days at least. At least. Okay, I, I hope I haven't missed any of your comments or questions. Um, hello to Lisa from Mexico. Yay, somebody else takes an hour to drink their coffee as well. Uh, El Krishna, yes, you can have veggies with your diet. It, make sure that you're eating mostly green leafy vegetables. Then you should be okay. Uh, if you're looking to do keto for weight loss, I'd say keep the veggies a little strict in the start and then increase them as you go along. Uh, I do not meditate unless you call playing guitar and drums meditation because for me that's as, in fact, that's more productive and relaxing than meditation. And I do some very, very uh, light exercise. I wouldn't even call it exercise. Uh, a little bit of weight, weight lifting with my 8 kilo dumbbells. So I've got like some guns happening now. Not really. Just, uh, just firming up a little bit. And yeah. Uh, <clears throat> That's interesting. I was the first I've heard of a ketogenic uh, diet causing a gluten issue. Perhaps it's just uh, some people when they go back onto carbs, it just hits them weird and then it's, it's fine after a few days. Uh, Okay, one sec. You like me, but I clearly don't know about the parasympathetic nervous system. I actually don't. Um, yeah, egg drop soup. Okay, so you know what, guys? Uh, leave me your recipe requests. Not on, not right now, but after this video is done, you can just come back to this live stream and leave me a comment with the with uh, your recipe requests. And you know what? I will try and do at least one of your requests a month and I will mention the person who's requested the recipe. How's that sound? Does that sound cool? If, if you guys think that's cool, then yeah. Uh, Leo, yes, I'm going to give you the links to order my music. <clears throat> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So I have a band and I also have a solo project. Uh, so I'm going to share my band link with you right now. Also, uh, on the headbangerskitchen.com website, you can now check out all my music. So I've just linked my band's website, uh, sorry, my band's music. And now I will link my solo album stuff. There you go. All of it linked. Is there a spinach pakora keto version? No, but you know what? Uh, it is, I definitely do uh, want to sort of uh, get a pakora recipe going. Uh, so, Mr. Xavier, meditation is good for you. Uh, no, no, I, I, so I'm, I was just kidding. I'm sure meditation works for a lot of people and I'm sure there is definitely some benefit for it, just like there is uh, with most things. And uh, lower cortisol is lower insulin, which is better for your nutritional ketosis. So I believe there are also other things you can do to sort of have the same effect. Meditation is one of them. But yeah, sure, why not? Stretch it. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, so talking is uh, also a good exercise. Alina, interesting question actually. 
why do you have to light your gas burner when you cook because the stove that i'm using is not that automatic so the the new stoves that you have they have an automatic sparker in them so when you turn it it goes tick 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 and it sparks it so this is an old version that just releases the gas and you have to manually light it with the with the i don't know what we i don't know what we call that moong dal is fine on keto no moong dal is not okay on keto uh yeah also we have a gas cylinder uh can you email me sure of course you can email me recipes i am headbangers kitchen at gmail dot com uh maria i have already done a texas chili uh chili con carne so you can find that on the channel but yes corn bread is is something that i kind of need to do you know what i i've eaten very little bit of corn bread living in india but you know what i always love to refer to corn bread because of that eddie murphy movie life you going to eat your corn bread that's been my go to line forever i don't know why do you use coconut oil on your beard it looks great no i just you the i just started using a beard shampoo but no what are your thoughts on intermittent fasting uh, i think it's fantastic it helps you uh, sort of have one meal less to think about and i do know it has worked for a lot of people but honestly if i'm being very truthful i don't know if intermittent fasting has helped me at all in any way in terms of uh, losing weight or maintaining it cuz i think i've always never been a breakfast fan like I, in general i never ate breakfast so i'm not sure i mean if it works for you go for it like absolutely more power to you all right bulletproof coffee in the night spot that that's like me i drink a coffee at 10 pm sometimes <clears throat> Praveen just eat eggs man eggs are vegetarian and uh, just eat paneer lots of paneer paneer is your best friend on the keto diet if you are vegetarian Hey any of you guys on Twitter or what I I was just wondering like is Twitter not very popular among most people like I know everyone's pretty much everyone's got a Facebook account Hey Claudia from Florida. You know I love Florida because Florida has some of the best death metal bands. Deicide, Cannibal Corpse, Morbid Angel, Death I think was also from Florida. Cynic if I'm not mistaken. Florida rocks for death metal. Or does it metal for death metal? Or does it death for death metal? Florida is awesome. And the alligators of course. That's all I've seen of Florida. Alligators and death metal. So anyway, in case in case any of you guys are on Twitter, just look out for Headbangers Kitchen HK tweet six six six. And no, I'm not in cahoots with the devil. It's just a cool number. Florida. Have you listened to him? Yes, but ah, uh, it wasn't really my cup of tea. I like my music a little more extreme, I think. But I did like a couple of songs of theirs, I think. Yeah, YouTube is the best, of course, because this is, I think. So, did you guys see that YouTube has rolled out status messages? So I can actually post status messages using Headbangers Kitchen, uh, and you can. I think you have the option of uh, completely disabling it. But as a creator, I get to post stuff now. So if you actually check the Headbangers Kitchen channel, uh, there is a community tab actually where I I post stuff there. So. I I don't know if you guys were aware of that but that's a new feature on YouTube. Do you like black metal? Hell yeah. I love black metal. But a lot of the black metal I listen to is not considered true black metal. So I love Dimmu Borgir, I love Old Man's Child, I love Emperor, I love Ancient, I love Old Samel, uh a lot of lot of really like amazing bands uh that I listen to. Hello to Karen from Texas. Hello to Nicole from Texas. I got a lot of Texas people here. How the partner? I don't know if that's Texas at all, but but seriously, if I ever come to America, I want to hit up Texas for the barbecue, and specifically Franklin barbecue. 
Yeah, Dibu Bolgir in Florida. I, you know, I really wish I had some good music contacts in the USA. I would love to come and do a USA tour. That's like, I mean, I, after I crack Europe, USA is my next uh, place that I want to go to, definitely. Uh, but yeah, if any of you guys are in the music business and you have some good uh, connections with people in the metal world who can hook me up with a tour for my band, please help me out. Hey, someone from Colorado, Leo. Hey, what's up? Ah, well. Austin. Austin, yeah. Woohoo! Now, this is like a real keto party, yeah? We're having a keto party online. Minnesota in the house. I should go to KetoCon. Yeah. I'd like to also go to NAM in LA. Uh, I'd love to go to NAM in LA. But yeah. Getting to America is expensive. Hey, from someone from Qatar is here. So, very interestingly enough, uh, my new song that's coming out has a guitar player from Qatar. A friend of mine called Rami Mustafa. He has a music shop called Shredder's Planet in Qatar. And he is also the guitar player of a death metal band called Nerve Cell. Amazing, amazing band. Check them out if you like death metal. They're from the Middle East. Uh, from Dubai, Qatar, and uh, yeah. Yes, I said NAM, N-A-A-M. The music the music instrument uh, exhibition. <clears throat> California is expensive. I said, uh, wait. I said NAM, not ham. Ooh, I'd like to do a ham recipe though. Some nice homemade ham. That would be good. Sugar-free ham. How popular is death metal in Mumbai? Uh, it's relatively popular. I mean, from the metal community here, they prefer like groovy metal. So Pantera is really popular. Lamb of God is really popular. There is a small death metal community here in Mumbai. Maybe about 500 people, 1000 people, I think. Uh, given the amount of, given the fact that there are actually 20 million people living in Mumbai, the number of people that listen to English music is also relatively small uh, but yeah can you imagine 20 million people in a city that like it's it's in it's ridiculous like ridiculous you know the uh, these two actually uh, never mind i'm going i'm digressing yes i should have a live chat where everyone cooks a keto meal and eats talks about it during the chat the only issue with that is it's very hard to cook and talk at the same time. So if you check out some of my older live streams, I have done a lot of recipes in the live stream, but it is, it's a little hard to focus on two, three things at the same time. But yeah, I'm going to do more live streams in 2018. In fact, give this video a thumbs up if you want more live streams in 2018. Cause uh, yeah, it's, it's up to you guys. I mean, I'm going to make the content that you want to see, not what I want to see. Because uh, how many cups of coffee do I drink in a day? Two, maximum three. I have had a few days where I had four, but that was like special days, like really special days. Can you do a series where you keto a famous dish of each country, special, especially African country? Sure, why not? I do not see any reason. Yes, I drink only black coffee. Uh, for me... I don't, I don't like the idea of drinking calories, so I don't really do smoothies, milkshakes, hot chocolates, bulletproof coffees. For me, black coffee for the taste and just, I like to sip something, but without calories. I put two or three drops of stevia in my coffee, which is basically zero calories again and doesn't spike your insulin or anything like that. There is a metal band called Jibber Jabber. Are you serious? That's so cool. Damn, they I could use them to sell my merchandise. I like my coffee like I like my metal. Black. Yes, so I follow Dr. Berg as well. I do watch uh, some of his stuff. Okay, so I have a bad connection. Or is it your connection? Um, I don't know. Everyone says coffee is good for you. So I'm not really going to... I really can't, 
make that kind of statement but i i like coffee and coffee is good for me do you have a favorite non keto treat or meal yeah i think pizza i mean it's all my wife i blame my wife for my pizza obsession now oh pizza and potato chips not not those horrible skinny mcdonald's french fries i'm talking about thick cut thrice cooked chips like the good stuff or we call in my community the sindhi community alu tooks that's that's my jam do you drink much alcohol not at all like the funny thing is along with my with my ketogenic diet i started to discover a love of beer. can you beat that i hated beer and i still don't like regular beer but i like hated beer and and alcohol because of the bitter taste so for most of my adult life i disliked beer and now when i got into keto the brewery the micro brewery scene in mumbai just exploded and i discovered my love for cider and sweet craft beers can you beat that how bad is my timing but yeah that's my thing. with alcohol i'm not big on it i used to love all the sweet drinks because it used to mask the flavor of alcohol but yeah so yeah that's the vibe okay i think my internet connection is uh, probably yeah doing something weird i am 35 years old for those asking the pizza was fantastic i really enjoyed it i'm probably going to eat one more pizza before i get back to keto uh i've already i've already done a pizza with cauliflower buddy uh i'm sorry i'm having some trouble pronouncing your name garifalo fegario i've already done uh that cauliflower base that you're asking for uh what time is it here it's about uh, 9:46 in the morning and uh, there are more questions i'm missing out i'm 35 years old um yeah i don't take any supplements on keto so whew. now there are a lot of you watching this <clears throat> thank you all so much Anyway guys I think my voice is starting to get strained now so I'm going to leave you guys right now I will do more of these live streams once again give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more live streams I want to once again say thank you guys for picking up Headbangers Kitchen merchandise and thank you all for sending me your pictures you guys are looking awesome in the HK merch if you haven't picked up your merch yet I'll leave you links in the video description box if you want to get some for yourself uh we've got a huge huge range of merch from tank tops to v-necks to mugs to sweaters to hoodies everything is there in our usa and europe stores i'm sorry in our indian stores there are still pre orders and we still only have white and black t-shirts but pick it up i am supremely grateful to you all and i will see you guys on the next episode of headbangers kitchen thank you all for tuning in i will see you soon cheers guys time to end the live stream now end live stream